All right, g'day guys, this is Tier and holy fucking shit. Oh my God, we have made it to 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for this amazing accomplishment. I couldn't have done it without you guys, obviously, you're the ones that subscribe. And you might have noticed I've taken a bit of a hiatus from YouTube, so don't really know what to do for a 20,000 subscriber video. I have a lot of stuff planned, but currently I am in between moving houses, moving from Queensland to Victoria, stuff like that. I'm working with my real life job. Don't really have time for YouTube. And also I've had the absolute shits with Fallout 76. I'll touch on that at the end of the video. I'll give you guys a bit of a channel update. But from there, what am I gonna do for the 20,000 subscriber video? Well, it might be obvious from what you're seeing right here. I'm gonna give you guys a office setup tour. This is my workspace on how I make YouTube videos and I'm going to show you guys all my collectibles. I'm going to show you guys my room, like this is the room I stream and record videos in. <laughs> Jesus died for our tins, loves it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get around to describing each and every collectible I have, showing you guys my setup, all this, that and the other. Should be great. If you're looking forward to it, please leave a like and be sure to hit the bell. Now, 20,000 subscribers. This is amazing. Thank you guys so much. I'm not doing a face reveal, that's for later. Maybe 100,000 subscribers, who knows? But let's get right into it. Here is the infamous squeaky chair. Yeah, it's a shitty gaming chair that I've just had sitting around. Pretty sure it was my brother's. She squeaky, she bent, she fucking, she needs to go in the bin, I need to buy a new one. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the chair. Uh, let's move on to the actual setup though. So here's the mic I'm using. I've gotten a mic stand. I can't remember what it's called for the life of me, but it is a brilliant mic stand. The built-in spring system, so it's nice and sleek. It's uh, all stealth-like, all blacked out. Comes with a pop filter, or oh, Inno Gear. You guys can probably figure it out. Just search up Inno Gear. It's an amazing setup. I'll put all my gear in the description, actually. Yeah, so this in the description, all the specs for me gaming laptop, that, that, all in the description. Okay, so pop filter, loves it. Got a nice little Blue Yeti microphone. Beautiful piece of equipment, serves me quite well. And yeah, just rotating stand, works perfect, gets the job done. I can just put that out of the way when I'm actually just playing, it's perfect. Anyway, so from there, got a lovely stream deck. Now this was actually gifted to me by Lone Vault Wanderer himself, the Australian community manager at Bethesda. So thank you so much, mate, you're a fucking legend. And it came with a custom uh, Fallout 76 themed uh, Stream Deck holder, as you can see. It's pretty awesome, suits me channel, suits me setup. I fucking love that I have this amazing stuff right there. Controller wise, I play on Xbox obviously primarily. I do have a Series 2 Elite uh, Xbox controller with the paddles and toggles and stuff like that bloody amazing highly recommend getting not this one the first version the generation one because this one does have a little bit of issues but so far no issues have cropped up with me but i have seen you know people report you know triggers breaking paddles breaking stuff online with the series two but yeah anyway works fine for me that's the important thing got a little charging deck for it as well loves it and then get this out of the way Unfortunately, I am still on the, I guess you'd say, previous generation of Xbox. This is the Xbox uh, S. It's a Battlefield 1 edition. Don't know why I got that one, but I, I got it. It's green. I could just lie and say it's Halo because I like Halo more, but <laughs> it's Battlefield. <laughs> so yeah, I've got the Xbox S. Uh, I need to upgrade to the Series X. Unfortunately, I do not have... Oh. The chance to get one because they're not in fucking Australia anywhere. I've tried looking for them, can't find them anywhere. Anyway, is the headset I'm using just a shitty piece of shit. It's a Rig 500, I think. I'll put it in the description when I Google what it actually is. But yeah, works fine. I plug it into the old laptop and the old controller, depending on what I'm doing. Works fine. Yada yada yada. When I look back here, cable management is obviously fucking piss poor. Don't look at that stuff. That's pictures of me. <laughs> and then from here, I've got the Asus Tough Gaming Laptop. Put the screen down so you don't see me face. And this does the job perfectly. As you can see, here's some specs there. Here's an interested pause. But it, it's just really a standard gaming laptop. Plugged it into me Xbox to the monitor and stuff. It, it does everything I need it to do. 
but I am going to upgrade to a, uh, a proper actual PC setup eventually. Eventually, <laughs> being the keyword. And just a regular Steel Series mouse. Does the job fine. And then here is probably my favorite part of the whole setup, actually. It's a um, St. Jude gigantic mouse pad that they sent me for helping out in the uh, Fallout for Hope the, uh, for last year. Unfortunately, I cannot participate this year because, as, for the reasons I said earlier at the start of the video, I'm not really into the whole mindset of recording and streaming. I'll touch on that at the end of the video and stuff like that, but I am working, so I don't even have time for it anyway. But yeah, awesome. Love that mouse pad. Thank you so much for sending it to me, St. Jude, and I'm sorry I couldn't participate in Fallout for Hope this year. Okay, and that brings us over here to my other thing. This is just a little Mac. It's uh, where I keep all my Discord stuff and where I make my thumbnails because this has programs that that doesn't. Basically the whole reason for that. And then let's go ahead and just move over to this. This is a bunch of shit. <laughs> Got some nunchucks, uh, Fallout 76 and Halos because that's what I'm playing right now. Uh, just Collingwood stuff. In here is a signed Guernsey of, signed by Scott Pendlebury for a uh, Collingwood jumper. Fucking awesome. If you don't like Collingwood, fair enough. Let's move on to all the collectibles. Let's start at the top. We've got our very first T51B pair armor helmet. This was also sent to me by Lone Vault Wanderer from Bethesda. Fucking legend. You always come through with the goods. Mad lad. Underneath that, we have the original Xbox. This is actually my first Xbox. No, that's not me in the reflection. That's Jesus. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is my first Xbox when I had, that I had when I was a kid. I've kept it all this time. Don't think it works because I lost the cord, so I haven't had a chance to actually see if it works in all these years I've had it. But yeah, Isaac Butterfield, he's a fucking mad lad, great comedian. Decided I'd buy his uh, little pop vinyl thingy. <laughs> Ned Kelly, uh, little statue thing. I've had this since I was a kid. I've just always kept it. Got it with some good memories. Black Ops 2 hard case and collectible stuff. Just have that mainly to prop this bad boy up. Got their plasma pistol from Fallout 4. Again, this was sent by Lone Vault Wanderer. Love you, dude. <laughs> Hooking me up as always. Hooking all the Aussie content creators up. Fucking mad lad. It does light up and stuff. I've shown that in the unboxing video and stuff like that. Uh, here we have the case for a Pip-Boy, as you can see right there. Just decided to keep the actual case because it is pretty cool and yeah works well with the collectibles here we've got a plushie for a sheep squatch in full at 76 again was sent to me bloody amazing you know just <laughs> just being a little doopy rucker <laughs> uh here we've got some uh, collingwood footy stuff it's guardians of the galaxy music and gears of war 2 book don't know why they're there uh picture of me nan love ya <laughs> and a second T51B pair on my helmet. Now this one was one that I purchased with my own money, so yeah, cool stuff. Got two. Might give one away. Maybe that could be a goal for like 50,000 subscribers. Ooh, that's an idea. Which one of you lucky bastards, yeah, I'm pointing at you, which one of you lucky bastards want a free T51B pair on my helmet sent to you? All of you? Oh, okay, well, get me to 50,000 subs and we'll do that. <laughs> and likewise from over there we have my original Xbox 360. I keep all my old consoles just cause memorabilia, I guess. Might be worth something one day. Probably not, but who knows. Kept it nonetheless. And down here we have a cool ass T51B Power Armor suit in its uh, Power Armor workstation. Pretty cool. Behind it we have, oh, it'll show, it also doubles as a USB. Kind of weird, but yeah. Got Michael Scott and Dwight Schrute from The Office, pop vinyls. Love the office. If you do too, then you're a mad lad. Got a rocket raccoon and an excavator power armor. Uh, pop vinyl. Odd amalgamation of things to have there, but hey, that's all I've got so far. I don't really collect those things. Um, I got a book of cheat codes that are from like the 90s, I think. Bloody awesome. Just a little bit of memorabilia. Rocket. Uh, St. Jude Play Live button. Is it even turned on? No. It does that, fucking annoying. <laughs> and then we've got a Vault Boy mask, which is pretty cool. Moving over here, we've got Dance and Groot. If the sunlight hits him, if I turn it on, he'll start to dance. Yeah, 
<laughs> pretty cool I guess we've got a bunch of alcohol themed products up here because why the fuck not Shreya got the man cave peanut fucking holders ate them all there's no peanuts in there uh, I think this was a black ops 3 limited edition thing that came with the the game yeah I, I don't know I don't even know why I have that there I don't even like that game but I have it there <laughs> then back here we've got uh, some flasks Alt Tech and Brotherhood of Steel, pretty cool. Uh, this is some uh, native uh, beer from Vanuatu, I think, when I trip when I went over there on a cruise ship, and this was some tasty beer, and it's pretty high in alcohol percentage, as you can see, seven percent. So <laughs> it was some tasty, tasty beer, that's for sure. And then got a limited edition VB fucking mini keg. Got to have that in the setup. Loves it. <laughs> Moving on, we have some stuff over here. This is awesome, okay? Uh, this is some Fallout 76 dog tags that uh, got sent to me. As you can see, it has my name on it. And on it is also a little USB from Rob Whitaker. He's a um, an Australian uh, MMA fighter. Fucking mad load. And it's just a little message from him. I'm, I'm pretty sure all the Australian content creators for Fallout 76 got one of these with their own names on it. And it's just a message from Rob Whitaker saying, you know, fight the good fight, uh, go Brotherhood of Steel, go all that sort of stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, anyway, going from there, we've got a book of recipes in Fallout 76. Pretty handy, I guess. A Robo Brain, a Nerd Rage Vault Boy, and this is a. What's the word? It's. Um, I can't think of it. It plays music. It plays music as a speaker. Yeah, this is a speaker, T51B. Pair on my helmet with a cherry. Uh, Nuku Cola paint on it, I think. Something like that. Then we got a bottle of vodka. I got this on my 18th birthday and never opened it because I thought it was cool to collect that sort of thing, especially since it was a gift for my 18th birthday. Why not? And here's a little piece of memorabilia from Vanuatu when I went there. Fuck yeah, lad. And then right here. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm trying to show my face in the reflection. This was sent to me uh, via... Uh, Chad, a Fallout 76 podcast, and the guys over at QuakeCon, they custom made this, it lights up. Oop, I can turn it on, there we go. As you can see, it all lights up, pretty schnazzy. It, it, I actually got this as a reward for uh, coming first in one of the first Junkershine runs, I think, or no, Nukashine runs, over on the um, Fallout for Hope last year, which was pretty cool. Got three bobbleheads, got my... Uh, Fallout 4 Pip-Boy, pretty schnazzy stuff, very old, decrepit, <laughs> still turns on, yeah. And back here we've got a limited edition 20th year anniversary Simpsons, all of the collectibles, I'm not going to get it out, all of the collectibles are in there, pretty cool stuff. And then over here we have some alcohol, again, what a surprise. Now these I got on my 21st birthday, again never opened, just have them there as a little keepsake. Uh, I'm weird like that, I like to collect those sort of things. Victoria Bitter things, I like me VB, all right, I can sue me. And all right, yeah, more VB stuff. This is with the cricket. Uh, yeah, Captain Noob, it's boring, fuck you. Cricket's boring. <laughs> um, and then more things I got from the 21st, just some cups of alcohol in there. This was sent to me via Lone Vault Wanderer as well, just a glow in the dark, uh, Vault Boy thumbs up lamp sort of thing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then behind it, we've got some more pop vinyls. We've got the Vault Dweller, male and female. T51B Pair Armor Limited Edition, exclusive at JB Hi-Fi, oh fuck me. <laughs> and then for some reason, an X01 Pair Armor suit with a fucking uh, guitar sword in his hands. Weird choice to make a toy out of, but sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> anyway. That is the setup. We've got this massive fuck off desk that I bought and it holds it all nicely. Brilliant, does the job. Can't wait to get moved out of here into a proper space where I can put, you know, sound foam and all that sort of stuff on the walls. Which I do have here, cases full of it, but I just haven't got around to setting it up. Yeah, it does the job, it's amazing. But then over here on the back wall, we've got a Brotherhood of Steel flag that was also sent to me. Been sent a lot of stuff. <laughs> Loves it. And then over here, Jesus died for our tins. I've had this since I was like fucking, I want to say 15. 
I thought it was funny. I bought it on a website called Uncle Rico. Check them out. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, if you're Aussie, you get it. <laughs> Okay guys, and that was my 20,000 subscriber video special. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm sorry it wasn't much, but I figured this would be something that people do. This is something that YouTubers do for big milestones. So I figured it's something that we can have for the channel. 20,000 subscriber goal is smashed out of the park. Here's my setup tour. Here's my collectibles, showcase, all that jazz. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button, share it with your mates. Subscribe so we can reach 50,000 subscribers and I will give away that T51B Parama helmet to one of you lucky bastards. And then, maybe eventually down the track, we can get 100,000 subscribers and do a bloody beautiful face reveal. <laughs> but from there, guys, I guess it's time for me to talk a little bit about the future of the channel and my love-hate relationship with Fallout 76 at the moment. So yeah, the celebration part of this video is done and over with, and now we're going to be talking about the updates with the channel moving forward. Let's get into it. Okay, so basically, I'm in a tough spot. I am not having fun playing Fallout 76 at all in the slightest. Things need to change. Things need to change in a big, meaningful, impactful way to get me back into the game and invested into the game. There's no new content. There hasn't been any new content for, I want to say, almost a year. It's just been filler stuff, quality of life stuff, and just stuff that I'm not interested in, frankly. Like, there's nothing I, as a content creator, can really make content for for this whole year. Think about that. My entire channel revolves around Fallout 76, revolves around making guides and tutorials and stuff like that secret show, uh, showcasing for this game and there's just nothing for me to cover i've had to resort to the bare minimum and scraping the bottom of the barrel to just get by and frankly i'm over it <laughs> there's been basically there's been nothing new and i know a lot of the people in the community feel the same way i do there's something coming in the future that I'll, i can't share right now but me and a lot of other content creators do have something going on behind the scenes in the future that will come to light so stay tuned for that but yeah basically Bethesda needs to make some changes and frankly pull the finger out of their ass fix some stuff and release some content man otherwise you know people are just going to start leaving and I think that's the direction I may go because like I said I'm not having fun I'm not enjoying it it's just burnt me out, it's stressful, and I just don't want to play it. I haven't even downloaded the new update, I just don't want to play it. Now on the flip side of things, where does that leave the channel? Well obviously I haven't uploaded consistently in like three months, and I haven't uploaded a single video besides this one in a month. Like I said, I've been burnt out, I've had my new job, I've been setting up a move, been very stressed out with all this sort of stuff going on. It's just been a lot, so I haven't really been focusing on YouTube all that much, which I do apologize. I know some of you guys have unsubscribed and some of you members have cancelled your memberships. Sorry about all of that. We will get back to regular streaming. We will get back to regular content creation. We'll get back on the horse very soon. We've just got to get over this Christmas hurdle and into the new year, we will get back on track. But like I said, where does that leave the channel? I love Bullet 76. It's a great fucking game. I, I always say this. For new players, it is an amazing fucking game. There's heaps of stuff to do. But for veteran players, people like me especially, that are content creators as well, it's a terrible game. There's there's not much for you to do when you when you've when you've done everything, which you know, doy sounds like a stupid thing to say, but with a game like this that's live service, you can't really be having that. <laughs> so I love the game, it has so much potential in my eyes and it pains me to say stuff like this, but you know, I'm not having fun with it. So where do I go from here? I'm going to continue making what little guides I can. I'm going to work with the data miners to bring, I guess, secret information to light, things that you guys might not necessarily know and make guides on them. Hopefully that will tie everyone over because I'm not going to do what DTD does, I'm not going to do what Angry Turtle does or Inov Survivalist, I'm not going to keep you guys 
up to date with every little minute detail or every little thing, all the updates, patch notes, stuff like that. That's just not me, that's just not what I do with this channel. And I'm sorry if you subscribed because you are under the impression that I would be doing that, keeping you up to date with everything. It's not what I do. Go check out all those other people I just mentioned if you want that sort of thing. They cover this game fantastically and they appear to be very dedicated to the game, to the minute detail, which is which is nice to see. But for me, that's just not me, man. That's not me at the moment. I used to be like that, but at the moment, that is not me. Now, where do I see this channel going in the future? Now, in the new year, in the next year, I'm going to, like I said, cover Fallout 76, see where we go, make a few build videos, make a few guide videos, and then I'm going to try my hand at branching out. I'm going to make some ESO content, Elder Scrolls Online. I've been playing the absolute fucking hell out of that game, and I've been enjoying it immensely. And I'm hoping that maybe I can... Do a 180 and switch into becoming an ESO content creator because I'm enjoying that game so much and there's so much content out there for a person like me to just dive into and make guides on. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry if you don't like any of the things I said in this video. I would rather I be truthful and open and honest with you guys about what's going on in my head and what's going on with the direction of this channel than to just leave you guys in the dark. It's probably a bit weird for me to pair all of that with a 20,000 subscriber celebration video, but hey man, this is what it is. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the absolute fuck out of that like button. Let's try to get to at least 200 likes or something like that. I don't know. If this is your first time here, smash the subscribe button, click the bell. You're going to want to be around for the future of this channel. We've got some big things coming. And also guys, remember to check out the description. I'll have all the details of my setup in there written and i'll also have links to my social media and patreon channel membership stuff like that if you are interested in supporting me in a much larger way i've been tia and i'll catch us in the next one welcome to valhalla